Good morning, Cambridge Springs Elementary. This is Mrs. Walsh bringing you an urgent lesson about how to turn any rectangular piece of paper into a square. Why would you need to turn a piece of paper into a square? Well, the secret of origami is almost all origami folds must begin with a square piece of paper. So oftentimes my students get frustrated learning origami and trying to follow along with lessons because they don't realize they're starting with a rectangle instead of a square, which is never gonna work. So if you ever need to make a square piece of paper out of a rectangle, this is the easiest way to do it. You don't need a ruler, you don't need anything special, just your two hands <laughs> and a pair of scissors. If you don't have scissors, you can still make a perfect square. You just have to tear the paper very carefully on the crease that you make. So here I'm starting with a regular size, nine by 12, nine by 11, nine by 12 piece of paper. It's a drawing paper from the art room. To turn this into a square, I'm gonna pick up the bottom left-hand corner and I'm gonna roll it towards the top right-hand corner. So this is opposite corner directions. You could do this from this corner to this corner. It doesn't matter which side you are. I'm left-handed, so I pick the left-handed side. You are not trying to match this corner up with that corner. You're just headed in that direction because you're gonna use this edge now and line it up with the top of the paper. And what you need to pay attention to is this corner. Let me slide it on so you can see it. If you can get this corner into a very solid triangular point, that's pretty close to a perfect square. Now, sometimes if you roll too far forwards, this will get wonky on you like that. Sometimes you won't have rolled far enough. It will get wonky on you like that. So look how when you have a corner showing on the paper that's not quite right, you have to roll it until this comes to an exact point. Then, Hold the paper steady, making sure this top edge is lined up, and slowly crease this paper down. Now, the secret is anything past this edge of the paper is what becomes the rectangle. If you cut right along here as close as possible to that edge, what you have left is a perfect square and this extra rectangle you can set aside to doodle on or do something with or even recycle it. So if you very carefully now cut along that edge of the paper, this skinny rectangle falls apart, falls off because you don't need it and what you have left behind when you uncrease your paper is now a perfect square for you to work with towards different origami projects or sometimes we build snowflake projects and paper sculptures out of these. That is how you make a perfect square out of rectangle. Doesn't matter what size you start with, if it's a rectangle you can turn it into a square using that method. Thank you for watching.